welcome back to the channel. I'm BakuBrad96, here with the second match of my Bakugan Evolutions Tournament. I will be using Mono Ventus this time against Mono Heos. Going into turn one here, we both play an energy. I'm going to start out with Nelius. It is the only core Bakugan I have. The other two on my team are Platinum. The Heos team has the benefit of being fully Platinum with the Arless Blitz Fox, of course, because I didn't have a third Heos. And just a reminder for those of you who missed out on the last match, I will have a link down below, but Pyrus won against Dargus. So here we are with the first roll. I do miss, but my opponent lands with that Chaos Colossus there. What a shame. I do not like missing the first roll of a game. Always kind of a bummer. So my opponent does have four on this Chaos Colossus. It is turn one. They will not be playing anything else. But I do have to take this hit to the face, which does stink. We almost forget about attaching the Baku Core with the uh, with Platinum Colossus's ability. But I do point that out. That gets adjusted. Luckily, it was a core that didn't uh, add any damage on what I was taking. Um, I do flip two Savage Swarms. They both have an armor rating of one combined. Or, you know, they each have an armor rating of one, so that soaks up all four of the damage. Luckily, I only lost two cards. On to the next turn after that. Once again, we both play an energy. I'm going with Dragonoid. My opponent is going with Nelius. Kind of ironic there, Nelius versus Dragonoid. And there we go. So I did do a good block shoot there. Um, Nelius just got completely hit away. I did stand on a magic shield. Luckily this Dragonoid opened for me, unlike the darkest Dragonoid last round, or uh, last match. Just like the Colossus, there is 4 damage here as well for my Dragonoid. I do take out my opponent's Hyenix, so that's really good. Got rid of a Geogon there. As well as a few other really good cards. That Chaos Bracer is being a scary Baku Gear later on in the game. Once again, my OCD is showing as I meticulously put the Hide Matrix back together and move on to the next round. So that's three energy now. On to the third roll. Both me and my opponent have one win, one Bakugan open. So now it is Ventus Sectinoid against Arla Splits Fox. A great roll for both of us. We both open spot on. I do actually double core here, which is tremendous. It does drop, totally counts. The core was on there. I did catch it on camera. I was lucky I was filming. But So that is huge right there. Not only that, I did pick up the Iron Shield, so Sectinoid is going to be able to steal a Baku core from an opposing Bakugan. Just so I don't have to deal with any, uh, I don't know, fight, I guess. I do take the core off of the Blitz Fox, making sure I get the win here. Not too much damage going through. I do believe I got a minus one damage from the, uh, the Helix there. So my Sectinoid normally has seven damage. It's only going to go in with six right now. Um, the opponent does try to pull out a Geogon here with Chaos Slugler. Um, I believe our B power is tied. It's 14 and 14. My opponent's hoping to pick up a Baku Core that's going to add a little B power. 
Little do they know, all of my green fists don't add B power at all. And neither does theirs, because there is a damage boost, which isn't going to do anything. Right now we're tied for B power, I have priority. Deciding what I want to play, I think I find it really quickly. It is a Ventus Fortitude, so it's going to be minus 500 B power. And I get to draw a card, so not bad at all. Definitely going to take this win. And that is another Geogon card I don't have to deal with. Like I said before though, here is the 6 that's going to come in now. Would have been 7, but I did pick up the 1 core. My opponent flips the whole Outsiders, but used up all the energy they had on that Geogon. Which, just great. Lucky for me, the damage goes through. Now I have two Bakugan 1, or two Bakugan open, so I'm very close to a team attack. I'm in a good position, so far good lead this game. Just hide matrix adjustment here. Perfect time for, let, for me to let you all know that 81% of you currently watching are not subscribed to the channel. While we adjust the hide matrix, go ahead and do that for me because it not only makes my day, but it gives you the opportunity at monthly giveaways as well as awesome Bakugan content like you're watching. So, moving on to the next turn, however, this is going to be turn 4. We both play an energy card. My opponent goes back to the Neelius. Of course, I'm going to go back to my Neelius. It's the only Bakugan I can roll. But before the roll, I do play my hero, that is Winton. So that is the Winton that any B power or damage reduction you do is doubled. So pretty huge for my strategy. Even though it takes all of my energy for the turn, I do have it played out for later turns. The roll is good. Nilius against Nilius worked very well. We both stood. So my Nelius, of course, does have the remove a Baku core effect if it lands on a green fist, which I did. So that takes care of the opposing Nelius's Baku core. But lo and behold, they did have a Geogun card to play, which they do, being the Chaos Skyhorse here. I'm just folding it up right quick. I guess in retrospect I could cut these parts out, but I figure everyone enjoys watching the entire game. I know I do. I'm actually, I'm actually going back and watching this much like all of you are, so I can come and uh, commentate it for the commentary, I guess. I don't know the wording there. My English is awful. Ironic, right? But again, friendly games, drop the Geogon, and I just flat out lose because I played the hero for the turn. Um, I have no energy. This Geogon is going to go through. So armor rating really nice there off of the Gaia rockets. Armor rating of 2. And that was 5 damage taken. Not bad at all. Um, I'm still somewhat in a lead with only one Bakugan victory away from a team attack. Certainly what I'm thinking right here and certainly what I am trying to do. My opponent is winning the brawls but with Geogon. So that is a good thing. Well at least that one time. But, once again, Nelius, as I check the card length, my opponent's going with the Blitzfox. That spin shoot is sometimes reliable. It is very scary, like that right there. That is what a Platinum Bakugan can do when you spin it. So, that was an open for the Blitzfox. I got knocked flat away.
and the Geogon is dropped. So yeah, I did have the uh, Ventus Swarmer saved up in my hand for an opportunity just like this. Um, it does get stuck. It did pick up the core, but it was a little stuck. I didn't have it closed properly. Um, so with Swarmer open, this is really huge. Blitz Fox isn't that strong at all. And with no Baku core on it, this right here pretty much, I, I definitely take the lead. I think that's a plus one damage green fist. I'm not completely sure. I don't quite remember, but I know Swarmer has a base damage of 15, and that is a lot to go through right here. You can just see my opponent's deck. It is just getting ripped to shreds. Um, they do have a light, light burst cannons there, so that's an armor rating of two. That helps. But still, just an absurd amount of damage. Does hit a stand together to stop. So, the opponent got out of not taking all of it, but still a good amount of damage to get through. I will definitely take that, and my first time playing a Geogon for the match. Once again, just resetting for the next round. Brief pause. On to, I believe this is turn six. Boy, that camera is really shaky. Sorry about that. Um, I do play an energy. And here it is again. It is Nilius against Nilius. With a double miss, so... Both of us were really bad that time. Just another hide matrix adjustment. And the redo roll. Same turn. Nelius blocks again. Really cool opening that time. That was, that was pretty cool. Caught on camera. Um... Kind of pointless at this point since Colossus is the only Bakugan open. But as long as Nelius is hitting those green fists just like the darkest one, uh, Baku Core can be removed. Um, the damage goes through here because see I don't even think we, we counted it. A light burst cannon soaks up the rest of the damage. But now it is time for the team attack because I finally have all of my Bakugan open. Keep in mind, I do have the minus one off of that helix right there, so it's going to be six, four. And I think it was three, I think it was like 13 or something like that, but not sure because of the green fist picked up. At the end of the day, it didn't matter. Um, the last card of my opponent's deck was a Halt Outsiders, and since you cannot lose from drawing, my opponent just pays the energy to actually pay or play that Halt Outsiders. And now the game is still going, and my opponent has no cards in their uh, deck going forward. So for the rest of this match, my opponent has no cards. It, crazy how that worked out, but uh, the game rules, you know? It's hilarious. At least now the hide matrix gets completely reset of a sort. All those cores get put back. Much easier for me when I have more targets to land on. Don't know about anyone else. It's a shame Colossus didn't get to see more play on my opponent's side, but it won its brawl and then it just sat there for like a majority of the game here, if not the entire game. No spoilers. But here I go with Sectanoid against the Blitz Fox and Miss. Almost thought Sectanoid was going to go all the way back there. I kind of wanted it to, but it did not. This Blitz Fox, unlike the Pyrus one, is opening very well. Um, they still aren't getting a magnet, though. I noticed that about both Blitz Fox, um, at least that I have. Um, anyway, taking the damage, though. So Hyperdrive, I do play it. That does let both of us energize the top two cards of our deck uh, uncharged. 
But again, my opponent didn't have any. I go ahead and take the rest of the damage I was supposed to. And that was a really scary hit because, again, I thought I had the game in the bag. And when you miss a roll, that, that could really put the game in your opponent's favor and it could just completely mess up everything. I'm trying to close up this game quick because I just lost with Darkest. I'd hate to lose two days in a row because that would just stink. But there's that spin roll from the opponent again. Here we go. I miss with Dragonoid. So that is two misses in a row. And I'm about to have to take a Nelius hit to the face once again. And not only that, but now a team attack is going to be on the way. I take the four, or sorry, I take the six from Nelius here. That definitely hurt. I do not have many cards left myself. Now, moving on to the team attack. This probably would have been game, and I'm very glad it wasn't. Um, definitely worth playing that Winton earlier on, because I do have two Vindum Blasts that I play here. Um, they're both one energy for minus four, but because Winton is doubling that, they're both minus eight. So right here, basically, I have a minus 16 damage combo. And even with minus 16, I think it was like 19 going through. So I did have to take three there on top of all of that. I would like to point out, still going, and my opponent still has no cards left. So th this game was very just crazy right till the end of it. For as short as it was, it was very exhilarating up to the end. I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know if I was going to lose it right at the end. Kind of like how I did with Darkest, not being able to roll that Dragonoid. So, last turn, I mean, pretty much, you know, this roll definitely was the last roll because whoever gets this one, I have very little cards left, no cards left in the opponent's deck, and that was for the win. So, my opponent tried to roll a little too hard for the block, um, I landed, they missed, and that was that, so that wraps up this match. Um, my opponent has nothing to play, and Nelius just takes the win for me. So I was very happy to finally win a match. That means that Ventus will move on to face Pyrus. Chaos will go into the loser bracket to face Darkus. I'm very excited for those matches again. Those will all be coming up this week. So make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss them. Thank you all for watching. And as always, Baku Crew, stay safe and remember, Bakugan, Brawl!